What is up guys, DZ Fear, and today we are looking at assorted fruit jam? Well, no, we're not actually doing that. Today we are opening a very, very weird product. It's not really a product, actually, it's just a container, and uh, I mentioned this on Twitter a few weeks ago. My mom uh, gave this to me, and she said that someone from work gave this to her. I, I think people at mom's work know that uh, I do Yugi tubing or whatever. I think even a couple of the kids of people that work with my mom actually know of my channel, so shout out to you guys, but uh, basically someone from my mom's work gave this to her and said, oh, maybe your son will enjoy this, and I believe that this is like a 15 year old collection maybe 10 years at like the earliest we'll have to wait and see i actually have not looked at any of the cards so if you haven't figured out yet this is a container that was like probably in someone's closet or something of just old Yu-Gi-Oh cards so i have not looked at any of them um i'm just kind of judging 15 years by the way uh, just because i i saw these like play mats and stuff and these are like the really really old ones um they look like the ones that come out of like structured x from around what 2005 and 6 not really even 7 and 8 so this is probably a pretty old uh, collection here they might even be from the very first starter decks we can at least see that there is definitely going to be a fusion zone not a uh, extra deck so we know it's uh, at least before synchro summoning but that's pretty much to be expected and uh, i don't know what i'm trying to pull from here is this kind of a cool thing and, you know i like looking through older people's collections uh, just because uh, uh i don't know you like never know what you can find there we can see here it's one of the old rule books it doesn't have the the front cover though so i believe this is probably like one of the very first rule books so that's pretty cool you can see here I mean, we, we've opened some old uh, collections before i remember one time I, I bought one from someone random just to see like what their collection had and that guy was pretty cool but uh pulling any holographic cards would be pretty neat out of this these cards look pretty dirty i don't expect to pull um anything too crazy but uh, we're not gonna i mean like the absolute craziest thing would be like uh, dds blue eyes or dark magician but if we pull anything kind of interesting that'd be kind of cool so let's kind of go through here uh, maybe this is even better to turn so my setup is like really bad for bigger items like this one so maybe i can put that like right there and we can see how this goes so we have a uh, miracle dig <laughs> so demolition bad reaction to smoshi that's kind of cool octoburster another bad reaction maybe they had that and we got a first hollow here fire princess seems like everyone seemed to own this card back in the day i don't know a lot of a lot of uh, my friends at school seem to own that card we have uh, Prevent Rat, one of the many 2,000 defense monsters. Fusion Gate, that's actually a pretty good card. I'm just going to put the Hollows and the good cards up there. We have Book of Taiyu, which uh, someone just talked about. This is in the last video we mentioned. Um, someone said that this means sun in Japanese, so they translated Book of Moon to Book of Moon, but they didn't translate this one to Book of Sun. And, oh man, Metamorphosis, <laughs> it's actually a pretty good... Uh, it's actually a pretty good card, aren't it? That might actually be kind of valuable. It's kind of dirty, but uh, maybe even... I know that back when I was building Goat Control decks, Metamorphosis, even the commons were still like uh, four or five bucks. So let's take a look at that. We have Bubble Crash, Disarmament. We have uh, another super rare. We have uh, this giant elephant. That's I think that's what it means, right? It's just Spanish for giant elephant or it's some language for giant elephant. Pretty funny, though. Man, what a crazy card. <laughs> Level 7 with uh, 100 less attack than Dark Magician. So it is cool, though, that we have a oh, summon the skull. It's pretty cool um, that we do actually have some holographic cards. And so far, um, none of these cards look like they're fake, which is uh, usually when you see these older collections, a lot of cards you come across are actually fake. We have a monster recovery. This card's text is so hard. It's so confusing. Like this card is, uh, I don't know if it's ever been updated, but it's really confusing what it actually does. It says select one of your own monsters on your side of the field and combine it with your deck. At the same time, combine your hand and deck together and shuffle the deck, draw the same number of cards that were in your hand and then shuffled in the deck so it's like a minus like three or something it's pretty bad but it is a rare card so put it aside we have a reasoning actually a pretty decent card so you can see here they actually had some pretty good cards Zeric Fairy, Union Rider, <laughs> Gadget Soldier. A lot of Miracle Digs. I have a lot of those. Actually, there's like a lot of duplicates here. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, we got a, something cool coming up as well. But we have Messenger of Peace, the old version. Old, old, old version. It is the Magic Card version. And yeah, I think that my uh, sort of analysis of this being about 15 years old seems to be uh, pretty true. This looks to be like the cards that I was playing with back in elementary school. Got some stuff here. And we have a really weird looking Soul Exchange. The A lot of foil bleeding on that one pretty good uh condition no actually it's super wavy never mind i stand corrected i don't know i mean what do you expect of the condition of these that have been sitting in this uh tin uh, for like 10 years probably without being touched it is pretty funny probably just someone was like cleaning out their closet and was like oh i think someone at work uh their son plays <laughs> Yu Gi Oh. so if you're watching this video shout out to you i don't know if they'll 
ever stumble across this. But you know what? I like looking at the old Yu-Gi-Oh collections. It's pretty cool. We have Jinzo number seven. Never, never understood why this card was called Jinzo number seven because it has uh, seem seemingly no relationship to Jinzo. So it always seemed weird to me. We have Share the Pain. Pretty funny card. Offer one monster to the field as a tribute. Your opponent must select one monster on his or her side of the field and offer it as a tribute as well. So like some of these old texts are really funny. Dark Scorpion Burglars, which actually, uh, I think this is, uh, we're pulling so many cards that uh, actually did kind of go with the video yesterday. Um, this card was one of the cards that you could do Jackpot 7 with, uh, you could, because when you, you give it to your opponent, and then when uh, this card inflicts bad damage to your opponent's life points, your opponent selects one magic card from your deck, sent to the graveyard, so you could send the Jackpot 7s right to the graveyard. We have Darkness Approaches, oh man, face down to attack position. Uh, there are still people out there right now that do not realize that this thing got eroded like two years ago and is no longer a face down attack position. Chain Energy is pretty cool. Uh, you know, I'll put this one aside. We have a Spirit Message. Okay, it's kind of funny. I guess it's a rare. I'll put that aside. Arsenal Bug, pretty good in Battle Pack 3. We have After Genocide. Isn't Doesn't this not say After Genocide anymore? It's like After the Struggle or After the Battle or something. A card that actually had its name changed. It does not happen very often in Yu-Gi-Oh. Go through here, some more cards. We have, oh, the Emperor's Holiday. That's uh, not like the oldest card. I mean, I guess all these cards are pretty old. I'm trying to find like what the newest card out of all. We got a Blade, <laughs> Blade Fly. Hey, this became a Link Monster. That's pretty funny. That crazy looking card. Looks like we've got another holograph. Oh, Poison of the Old Man. That is pretty cool. Yeah, that card used to be really good in Chain Burn. 800 damage. Wow, for one card. Insane. And Marie, the Fallen One, another card that had its uh, name changed. I think uh, I'm learning here as we're going through that I definitely uh, should have set this up differently because I think we're going to have way too many good cards uh, sort of aside that I want to look at. So I don't know. I'll have to probably adjust the pile in a second. We have this clown couple bite shoes i'm actually pretty impressed with how many duplicates um that this this collection has it seems like they probably were building some like legitimate strategies well i say legitimate like legitimate for like a playground play it's probably like a i don't know maybe it was like a whole family shared the cards or something like there was like siblings something along those lines but there are a lot of duplicates um and just as someone that like played back in the day people did not really at least elementary school kids really did not have this many duplicates which is kind of interesting and like i said unless i've missed one I don't think we've seen any um, fake cards so far, which is extremely, extremely rare. Fake cards were all over the place, and um, I don't know I saw someone on the Yu-Gi-Oh Reddit the other day that I felt really bad for because they were posting. Now oh, we get destruction punch. That's a rare. They were posting about some uh, another fusion gate. Yeah, see that like they have legitimate cards here. Fake trap. It's pretty funny. Um, they they were posting like oh I, I've seen some people they had like a, a Chinese version of um, I think it was Black Lister Soldier or Dark Paladin or something and they were like confused a Royal Tribute that's a pretty good card they were confused like how much it was worth because uh, there's like a version of that card that's worth like four hundred dollars and they're like is this the version and they post oh Super Rejuvenation hey that card just just got unbanned hasn't really done anything but it is unbanned um, and they were like they posted like the link to like three different um, Monster Reborn that's pretty cool. Magic Drain is pretty cool as well. Uh, they posted a link to three different cards that they were like trying to look at. It was like someone selling their boyfriend's collection or something like that. They're like, oh, are these cards like valuable? And uh, all three of them were like very, very obvious fakes, which uh, I think really just brings me back. I think I made a couple videos on fake cards before, um, but it is one of those things where like as a Yu-Gi-Oh player, like as someone that plays competitively, even in 2019, um, like I can tell a fake in like two seconds. Like, you know, I think most of you guys have that as well. Got drop off a of super rare. Not quite as good as drastic drop off but still pretty good and i think that uh for most of you guys watching this video probably unless you like don't really play dark <laughs> this card actually used to be really good for like two seconds with brilliant fusion uh, most of you guys watching got Sangin, that's pretty funny. I uh, probably know like how to tell a fake card in like a couple seconds, not not even like a minute of looking at the card and analyzing. Time seal, it's a banned card. Uh, not even like a minute of looking at the card. You can just glance at a fake card and instantly know, oh wow, we got, oh okay, we got some cool stuff here. This is probably the newest card. What is on this? <laughs> These are kind of gross. Uh, maybe I should use gloves. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, Malefic Stardust Dragon. It's probably like the newest card that I've seen. Um, I can't even remember when this card came out. It would have been a while ago. I think I was still in uh, elementary school maybe like early high school but uh that is uh Malefic Star Dragon that is the newest card that I've seen and then we got this really really cool Injection Fairy Lily that is insane it's not even that I mean it's a little warped but actually this card's in pretty darn good condition that is really really nice I don't know if that's valuable or anything I don't think so but that is probably the nicest pull that we've gotten so far
Um, but yeah, I always feel bad for the people, uh, you know, and when I see like, uh, I've seen some videos on like fake magic cards and stuff and like, I definitely could not tell them apart from a real magic card just because, hey, <laughs> Thunder Dragon's pretty funny, um, just because like, I don't play magic, so like, I don't really understand, um, the small subtleties and stuff, but for me, like, what I always point to is like, the, the stars on fake cards always look so, so fake. And uh, it's funny to me that a lot of people that just don't play this game or haven't played this game in a long time, or maybe like played this game and had fake cards and didn't realize they were fake cards. Wow, limiter removal, that is a cool super. It's actually uh, just topped a regional in a uh, rank 10 train deck that was on Team Samurai's uh, channel. That was a really cool deck profile. Um, they just can't tell like at all, like, whoops, I just knocked that whole pile down. That's all right. It's off camera, who cares? Um, but they just can't tell like what the fake cards look like at all. And I, I feel bad for them. I remember back in the day, probably just told a story before, but I had my uh, dad had by me some uh, Egyptian god cards not even all three of them it was like just slifer and obelisk and um man like I was so excited for them and on the eBay like uh listing I thought they looked real but as soon as I got them in the mail um and they were like kind of expensive they were like $30 for two of them which uh, back in the day, especially for like a little kid, that's like a pretty big deal. And as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh, these are uh, definitely fake. But I didn't want to break it to my dad that they were fake. So I said, oh, these are, yeah, these are really cool. Like they're brand new. Oh, Jagan, that's pretty cool. Shout out to uh, Asian Persuasion. He plays those in uh, his spellbook deck. It's actually a pretty cool deck. Um, second coin toss, pretty funny got some crazy cards here but yeah so i felt bad for that person i was trying to sell because that that means that like um if your if your boyfriend had like um or if that person's boyfriend had like uh those fake cards in his collection that means that likely a good portion of the more valuable cards um like in theory uh were probably fake as well um, if you remember that, uh, what did I even title that video? I can't remember, but there was that video I did a while ago where I had bought that guy's uh, older collection. We got a cool super rare Karibo there from uh, Metal Raiders. If you remember, I got that collection a while ago, and uh, he, he had thought, oh my gosh, wow, that's really cool. And really old super rare magic card version of Giant Trunade. Very, very nice. We've actually gotten some pretty cool pulls in this. Uh, obviously, the Injection Fairy Lily is still like the top pull. But if you remember that old thing uh, that I bought a while ago um, that I got from a guy that had played uh, around this time as well. It seems like a lot of people were playing back then and kept on their cards until now. Um, he like thought that a lot of his cards were like really valuable. Well, not really valuable, but he like knew some of them were fake. But there were like a lot more, like a lot, a lot more that were fake that he just like had no idea about, which I thought was kind of funny. We have a revival jam, so actually like a, a fair amount of hollows. You can't expect like uh, a lot of holographic cards, but it is funny whenever I look at these old collections, just seeing how similar they are in terms of uh, composition. To spiritualism is kind of funny actually. The card was played at Worlds in 2014. Um, it is funny looking at these old collections because their composition in terms of the types of cards they have, the rarities of cards that they have, are very, very similar to actually what my own old school collection looked like. I still have like uh, one long deck box that has uh, not a ton of cards, but a fair amount of cards from back when I was a kid. And uh, if you went through that, and I think I've gone through it on this channel, Magical Hat Super, pretty nice as well. Honestly, the holographic cards seem to be in pretty good condition. Not like, none of these cards have been used with sleeves, but I mean, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, if, I think I did like a video a long time ago looking through like, a, I think I titled like 10 year old box. Cause it must've been a couple of years back and uh, man, like it looks so similar. Like all these collections, you just got so many of the same cards. Cause uh, you know, when you're like a kid in school and stuff, you, you tend to collect like the same amount of, same types of cards. You know, you want to have your, your good band cards. We've seen mo some monster borns. We've seen some dark holes. looks like this was organized at some point by the way. So, <laughs> Cause we've gotten some uh, clumps here that are like, well, you see like a place out of a card or like that. We've seen some ones that were like all spells. That one seemed to have a couple ritual monsters in it. So I think at some point, um, a long time ago, these probably were organized. I feel bad for the person that organized them only to have them get uh, shuffled around in the actual deck box. We have so many copies of Miracle Dig. Maybe they were playing some Infernoid decks back in the day. We got another, another spirit message. Wow. I wonder if we can get the whole Destiny board by the end of the video. Probably not pretty crazy though yeah like see like these are kind of organized i don't know they're not like super organized but they are a little bit organized cat's ear tribe this card was uh briefly hyped up in combination with fire formation tanky because that can attack over any monster um then people figured out that uh bears is better oh wow that's really cool a rare giant rat i can't say i've seen one of those in a long long time we haven't found any uh sun bleached cards those are always my favorite i have a couple of those these older cards if you left them in the sun for like even like a day maybe it happens to new cards too but no one does it but if you left uh old cards in the sun for like a day they just uh really really changed color i've actually got a couple of those in my own collection i time seal pretty cool 
and it's uh it's kind of funny <laughs> morphing jar number two. Oh man we've pulled that's like the third card that we've pulled that's like directly related to the last video we did i think it's actually pretty funny attack and receive pretty fun. oh dark F flare dragon or dark fire dragon dark fire dragon actually uh played instant fusion target for a hot minute there not so much anymore not so much when we had norden either summon skull again this cure mermaids both of them that we pulled maybe pulled a couple but uh, all the cure mermaids that we pulled seem to be uh like they actually were played gosh this uh i don't know if you how well you guys can see it but this box is getting seems like there's lots of crumbs and stuff in here i don't think this was like uh clean super well beforehand on oh okay we're getting to we're getting to some good stuff here we have uh first a an unlimited started at kaiba blue eyes white dragon don't get too excited not really worth that much uh, i remember looking up um this card in particular because i we opened on the channel um an unlimited seto kaiba starter deck and we, i knew that it wasn't worth that much and then what i really was looking at was this uh secret rare magic cylinder wow why nobody plays magic cylinder that's actually a pretty cool pull as well these old secret rares look really really nice um and there's actually like a lot of different variants in these secret rares back in the day i'm going to show you um, in the next uh, sort of pack opening video we do, maybe in the next couple days here, uh, I bought a product that has a very, very strange looking secret rare that kind of looks like an ultra rare, kind of looks like a secret rare, something in between um, another band card, but uh, it's kind of weird. These secret rares back in the day didn't really have a lot of um, consistency. We have a card destruction. You can see all of these old uh, starter deck cards that they have have really bad um, holographic bleed, which we don't see too often. You see it in secret rares sometimes, especially it seems like you're European prints seem to have that problem more, but uh, it used to be a pretty big problem. I know that Pokemon cards actually have a lot of holographic issues. Um, that is like an entire video about that. Oh my gosh. We have a delinquent duo. Wow, that is pretty cool. This is in really good condition too. A little bit dirty on the back. All these cards are kind of dirty, but as far as like, wow, that is really cool. Man, that is, that might be the, that might take the cake for the best card. Maybe more so than Injection Fairy Lily. Not sure I'll have to look at the values of these cards, but at the bottom of this, it seems like we're getting some pretty darn good holographic cards. I mean, that's, oh man, Defusion. Pretty cool as well. Blink with Duo, though, that is a really, really good card. And oh, there we go. Okay, so this person had. So I, we've seen a couple Starter Deck Yu Gi cards, so it makes sense. But they had a Dark Magician as well. Looks like this one does have a crease, so maybe they played Dark Magician and not Blue Eyes. This seems like it was another band card. Change of heart. It seems like this was owned um, almost by like two people, and this was like their full collection because it seems like there's uh, you know, you got a Yu Gi Starter Deck in here, you got a Dark, uh, you got a Blue Eyes White Dragon Starter Deck in here, so Seto Kaiba Starter Deck is what most people would probably call it. And then we go down to like the last 10 cards here. So I was say it was like super long and rambly, I just kind of wanted to look at it. And actually, this, this one went a lot better than the, uh, the last one that we opened because this one actually has a lot of pretty decent cards. Skull Servant, the card used to be really expensive even as a common. Metal Silver, Dark Hole, Giant Soldier of Stone. We got some random up, <laughs> Upstart Goblin at the very end. A uh, magic card, Ridge and Upstart Goblin. Yeah, this one went, I mean, this is, I mean, I just was gifted this or whatever, or given it. Probably, it was probably just going to be thrown away anyway. But uh, this one actually had, like, some pretty viable cards in there. Some pretty cool old school stuff. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's, uh, I don't even know, this assorted fruit jam box opening. We are not a fruit jam box opening channel, but for today's video we were. And uh, sorry it took me so long to get around to this. It is just uh, a really sort of cumbersome piece of um i don't even know i guess it's like a tin or whatever uh it's way too big for my current camera setup but uh, hopefully somebody i'll get a different camera setup but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this i'll catch you next video let me know in the comment section below which card you thought was the coolest um if i had to pick it was probably still that injection fairy lily uh secret rare looks really really nice hopefully you guys uh, like some of these cards as well i'll see you later though thank you so much for watching goodbye